Hi, I'm Sophie Pluch and I would like to show you how Artwork Archive works in this video. Um, Artwork Archive is a database programme for artists, collectors and galleries, but in this video we'll, we will focus on the artist side of things. In an earlier blog post I have explained why Artwork Archive is such a good programme for artists like me and hopefully you. In this video I'd like to show you how it works and how to get started. So the first thing we do is we sign up and for the sake of this video I have signed up for a trial version so we can start with a completely blank canvas. You can choose from three different subscription levels depending on how many pieces of artwork you want to put in the database and how many galleries or locations as they call it you need to use. When you set up, you can choose your currency, uh, the size units that you prefer and the weight. Also, you can edit your profile, put your name and your details in and your social media links for your public profile page. Your public profile page is basically your own little web page on which you can show your portfolio of artworks. It is like a mini website that is hosted by Artwork Archive. For example, this is my public page with my works and some details for each one. And back to the main page. You can choose for each artwork whether you can make it visible on the public page or not. Of course, you, can, you don't have to have a public page and you can just use the program as a personal and private database instead. So let's add our first piece to the database and I will walk you through the various steps. You can drag your image files across, um, you can put multiple files in and you click the image that you want to be the main image, the primary image. You fill in the fields, title, type of art, in my case they're all paintings, medium, this is pastel, whatever you fill in there will be saved as a medium category and the same applies to your subject matter, still life, your creation date, um, you can fill in price, wholesale price, all sorts of details. There is a field for a description. If you choose to have a public profile page, then this will be on that public page. And there is a field for notes, which are always private. I often fill in the details of the materials, like the mediums I've used, the paper or canvas that I've used, where it's been exhibited and where it's been submitted. You can fill in the dimensions of the piece. You can add things like frame size, weight, signature. Again, some information for your public page if you choose to have one. And there is such a thing as collections. You click the new collection to create a new collection. I often have collections by year, so everything that was made in this year will be put in a 2018 collection. This will be the first piece, you can see it there, and we can add a few more. We will speed this up so you don't have to sit and watch this forever. For this piece I'm going to add a location because this piece is not in my studio. So I add new location, I will call it my gallery, whatever gallery, and it has been there since September the 5th last year and it's going to come home on the 18th of January. There it is. Now I have a small database of artworks. We can view the database in different ways, either with small pictures like this, or as a list, or as a slideshow like this. 
You can click on each piece to see the details of it. And we're back to the main pieces in the list. We can filter the view in any way we like by collections. Remember we made 2018 collection. But you can make any sort of collection, like a series of paintings or a material or a medium or a topic, anything you like, of course. You can filter the view by medium, this is pastel, oil, oil on canvas, whatever you fill in will become a um, category to filter on. There is subject matter, uh, I filled in still life, but of course you can add in whatever you like. There is types, which is already filled in for you, like paintings or sculptures. And earlier we added a location called My Gallery and put one of the paintings in that gallery. You can see that under the Locations tab. You saw just now the one painting that was there. So you can filter as well by what is in your studio, these pieces which is minus the ones in the galleries, or the pieces in location, which is the ones that are out in a gallery. So in your list view, you can see a short summary of each piece, like in this one, you can see the price that I filled in earlier. You can also see its location, which is my gallery. So let's imagine we've sold a painting. Hey, 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 applause for me. Uh, but let's stop being silly and let's see what we need to do. So you can fill in the sale price of the piece and your net amount that you will receive. So that's usually minus the gallery commission fee. Or if you've given the client a discount, you can fill in the actual amount that you received. There's a sale date, space for notes and more. You can add uh, contract details and all sorts. And if you then go back to your pieces, you will see a nice red sold dot on your work. Also, if you go to the different views, you will see the sold label on the works that are sold, which is always nice to see. Go to location, my gallery, and you can see on the recent sale of that painting, Elizabeth's dress, was sold. So let's add some more paintings to this gallery. Imagine it's going to have a little show. So you click on the location, my gallery, and you will see all your pieces on the left. You can add a few more by moving them. And there they are. You can see pieces at the location and recent sales. Now we can create a consignment report for this gallery. You create report a report by clicking on it. Let's give it a name or an ID. Consignment for my gallery or whatever you want to call it. You can include details that you want, include the work that you want and click create. It will be created. It will only take a second. So all you have to do is go to the left and click on reports and it will appear there. Of course, you can save it onto your computer um, as you wish and send it out to whoever needs it. Now let's add some pieces to an exhibition. Imagine you're either having a show or you're sending in or submitting some works to an open exhibition. So you click shows and you can give the show a name. Let's call it an open exhibition. You can choose to call it a competition or an exhibition, whatever you wish. You can fill in the details of the show and for example, for an open exhibition, the submission fee, the website, imagine the more galleries, they do an awful lot of um, open exhibitions. And the location of where the exhibition will be. My uh, location is not in there yet, so I click new and add the more galleries to the list. We can click, uh, fill in the start and the end dates of the actual show, the submission deadlines, the notification dates, delivery dates, 
all the relevant dates that you need to remember for this show and there's of course space for extra let's save and there it is your open exhibition with all the dates details etc let's just give it a slightly better name um, because open exhibition is a bit generic so let's call it super open exhibit so we'll recognize it whenever it pops up here it is super open exhibit it will start on the 19th of January Now let's assign some pieces to this open exhibition. When you click it, you see all your works on the left and you can move them to the right and click assign. There it is, you can see it is submitted and you can choose accepted or rejected when you get the results. You can now see the open exhibition listed under show history. So if you click your schedule on the left, you can see a diary of events that is coming up for you. So all the dates you've put in earlier for the open exhibition are now listed in your schedule. If you sell a piece to a client, you can put the client's details under contacts. To add a new contact, you just click new contact and add details. Click create contact and there he is. Let's call him John Johnson. So if you want to sell a piece to a new contact, let's say John Johnson has bought this painting called Nelly, you can fill in the sale price, the sale date, and where you sold it. You can choose your gallery or none, that means you've just sold it from the studio. And let's say you sold it to John Johnson. So this piece is now registered as sold. And if you click contacts and you click on the John Johnson link, you will see which pieces this person has bought and when and for how much. Now we've already made a consignment sheet. So let's create a report. You can make portfolio pages, inventory reports, wall labels, all sorts. So let's make an inventory report. If you click it, you can again choose which options you want included and which not. So I'm just picking some random ones to show you. And you can choose the works from the left and move them to the right to be included. Let's click all of them. You click, click create report, you wait a second and you go to your reports where it should be listed. And there it is. Now let's click create a portfolio page. It works exactly the same. You can choose which details you want included. You can move the pieces to the right that you want included. You click create report. And when you wait a second and go back to the reports list, it should be there as a PDF. And the portfolio pages look quite nice and minimalist. Now let's talk about this public page again that we mentioned at the beginning, how to create one. If you go to public settings on the left, you can click make my profile public or not. You can tick the box or not. You'll also see the link to your public profile page there. What you can do is choose for each piece whether you want to include it in your public page or not. You can choose which details to include, show the prices, show your collections or not, creation date, etc, etc. So I've chosen these two pieces to be included in my public profile page. And then you can have a look what that would look like. And it would look like this. There is my name. There are the two pieces we chose with the details we wanted to be included. Remember that field that was made public. That is now shown on the public page. 
I think Artwork Archive is a really useful program for artists. You can keep track of all the details about each and every artwork, when it was varnished, if it was varnished, which materials you used, which galleries they've been in, and whether it's sold or to whom, when, etc. I can really recommend Artwork Archive and I use it myself all the time. If you sign up by the link that I will give you and you find in the description below, you will get 20% off uh, for your first year. Surely that is worth a try. Artwork Archive does give me a small commission for every one of you that signs up via my own personal link, but this is at no extra cost to you whatsoever. And I would really not recommend this program, this software, if I didn't think you would find it good as I do. Um, do sign up to my YouTube channel if you like my videos and I promise I will do some more in the future. Um, but the next ones will probably be a bit more about painting and not so much about computer stuff. So hope to see you soon. Bye.